Welcome to the video for Strawberry Rocks, one of the Buzz Club's projects for 2020. Now the idea behind this project is testing out a garden tip or trick or hack or however you'd like to call it um, about how to stop birds from eating your strawberries. Now birds have got very good colour vision and uh, can be very keen on strawberries. So what we are testing out is the idea that if you put red painted rocks um, around your strawberry plants before there is actually any fruit on them, the birds will learn that red things that are there are not food by flying down and pecking them and just encountering a rock. Um, so we are going to see whether this tip actually does work um, with the help of our volunteers. So the equipment that you need for this project is quite simple. You will need at least one strawberry plant and you will need three rocks of approximately strawberry size per plant. So if you have one plant, you need three. If you have two plants, you need six and so on. You will also need a grow bag to plant the strawberries in. You can do it in a pot. We're trying to standardise it this year for people to use grow bags. Um, so ideally a grow bag, possibly a pot. You'll need acrylic paint, so red or green or probably both if you're going to paint realistic looking strawberries or if you're going to do the control and any other colours of paint that you want to add additional details on. So I've got yellow and black here because I've put on um, fake seeds on the outside of the strawberries. Uh, you'll need paint brushes in order to be able to paint your strawberries and you'll probably need some varnish to stop the acrylic paint peeling off uh, if it's outdoors, though you may not necessarily need this um, it makes them last a bit better, but isn't vital. So if you can't get hold of any, particularly in current situations, then you should still be fine. So in this part, I'm going to show you how you paint up your fake strawberries. So I've got a selection of rocks here. Um, some of them I'm going to paint green, some of them I'm going to paint red. Now, none of these are particularly unusual rocks. They're just rocks from the garden that are approximately strawberry sized, which I have washed make sure that they are ready. And I have my acrylic paint, which is fairly cheap, but it will do the job. I have a palette made out of old um, food plastic, so I'm not wasting anything new. Um, and I will mix up any colours that I want on there, like if I want a lighter green um, or anything like that. So let's get painting. I'm going to start with this one, I think. The reason that we're going to do two sorts, the red strawberries and the green strawberries, is that the green strawberries will be acting as a control because there's always a possibility whenever you do an experimental manipulation that just doing the manipulation is what is having the effect, not the exact thing that you did. So it is possible that putting painted rocks of any description next to strawberry plants either causes birds to avoid them entirely or makes it seem like the most delicious buffet that has ever occurred. So in order to test if specifically red stones actually have the effect we want, we need to do it as well with a different sort of stone, um, a different colour of stone, to be the control group. When you join the project, you will be assigned either the control group or the red stones group. Or if you have a sufficiently large garden space and are able to do both, then you can do both. You just have to make sure they're quite a long way away from each other so you're not confusing any birds. So either side of a house or um, at the end and the, the front of a very long garden will probably work. Because this is quite cheap acrylic, I'm going to do a couple of coats. So I will finish the first coat on each one of these and then turn the camera off while I let them dry, paint them again um, and then let them dry again. So I will be back momentarily. So we now have some nice painted stones. We have the red strawberries and the green strawberries, which are ready for a few more details. So I've mixed up a little bit of paler green and I'm going to put a fake calyx on the top of this strawberry. I am not the best at crafting, so you may well be able to do these uh, in a more realistic uh, or convincing manner. It's the uh, main bit of the colour that we're interested in, so the rock being broadly red or broadly green. So the little decorative details don't make a lot of difference, but they are quite nice, quite fun. If you do decide to take part in the project and are particularly proud of your rocks, uh, do let us know. Um, I will enthusiastically tweet pretty much anything sent to us. So if you have something nice, it can go on the internet. The final thing that you can do is add a little bit more detail to your strawberries by painting on some seeds or 
technically the actual fruit of the strawberry, but we don't need to dive deeply into strawberry biology for this. But uh, what I've done here is I'm painting some little black dots around the outside, and I'm going to put some little yellow dots in the centre of that to make it a bit more cartoon strawberry. Now, you don't have to do this. Um, last year, the pilot year, we did just do it with red rocks and green rocks, but it's a bit more fun and a bit more crafty to put the detail in, particularly if you've bothered to paint the calyx on, and it does look a little nicer when they're finished. So I'm just putting some little dots in here, and then we shall see the final strawberry. So these are the red strawberries in situ. So they are surrounding a strawberry plant in a grow bag. That's what roughly what yours should look like. You can have more than one strawberry plant uh, as part of the experiment, but you need to have at least three of the fake strawberry rocks um, to go with it. This is what a strawberry plant would look like if it's got the control rocks around it, so the green painted fake strawberries. Uh, you can have more than one plant uh, in a grow bag. I've just got half a grow bag, so I've got this folded down to show you the example. So however, however you would normally plant your strawberries and the density that you'd normally plant them, three rocks per plant. And that's it. That's the setup.